Hey guys, Cody Caro here, and we are going to go over Asset Forge. It's an amazing program uh, made by Kenny, the asset guy. And let's just dive into it. This is my first tutorial I've ever done with anything, so this will be fun. Let's see if people enjoy it. If so, I'll provide more. If not, then I'll just stop. You know, I'll just stop. So, in Asset Forge, you got your menu, you got new to create a new item, so like if I drag something in here, I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta create a new one. Boop. Just restarts it. Doesn't even warn you, so be careful with that right now. Uh, you can open a previous one, so you can go to desktop or wherever you have your folder. Go down. Where do I save it? There it is. Kenny Assets. Let's load my enemy fighter. Boom. Look at that. Just pops in there and bounces a bit. So yeah, I made that in about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. Anyways, new! Haha, <laughs> that's so cool. You got your configuration for the vis visuals, high, medium, low, stuff like that. Workspace. Oh, I didn't even know you could do this. Like, I'm even learning stuff. I just had a default. <laughs> and then we have the help which takes you to a guide that Kenny himself has made. Woo! It's pretty cool. Alright. So what we'll... Oh, wait. Let's just keep going. The blocks. So in Asset Forge, you get uh, these custom-made, pre-made blocks made by Kenny and... I don't know if it's other people or not, but... Basically, what you do is here's the aircraft stuff. So you have, like, your propeller... You have your, like, engines. You have lots of cool things. Lots of cool things. And then the next section is vehicles. So you got your tires. You got your front. You got your back. Just lots of really, really cool things. In the deluxe version, you'll get uh, more blocks as well, um, which is probably all the ones with the stars. And then you even have just basic, basic stuff you can use. So like a cube, a beveled cube, really cool. And then you have castle things, which is really cool. Doesn't even need to be made for castles. I actually ended up making a haunted house out of all this stuff, which was really, really cool. So you, if you think outside the box, you can make some really cool things in this program. Uh, I saw somebody make a sniper rifle. I saw somebody make a sword. I mean, I've seen lots of really cool things out there. And they even put uh, Lego blocks in case Lego is your thing, because this is basically Legos. So what should we build today? Um, oh, let me tell you how to navigate. WASD, navigate through. Hold down the uh, right mouse button to rotate. Scroll wheel is to zoom in and out. And then right click is to select. Grab one of the arrow widgets and it moves the object. Grab the square widget and it scales it in. So that's pretty cool. Pretty easy. So what should we make? Uh, let's just make a spaceship. Let's just jump in. And I'll show you about the uh, exporting and some other cool stuff here. So H is to flip it on the X, J is to flip it on the Y, and K is to flip it on the Z. What I do though is just rotate. I've heard right now there's um, export problems if you just use the flip. So I've just been rotating so far. Let's bring a propeller on this guy. Do do do. Ba, 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 ba. Look at that propeller. Look at that. Nice and snazzy. Snazzy looking plane here. Drag these blocks in. Just boom. Right now there's no uh, copy paste or duplicating. Um, but they already know about that. And they're going to implement that um, in the near future. So that's another cool thing about this program. They're always... Um, looking on what they can improve and whatnot, so it's really cool. I'd recommend getting this if 
you know, you're a programmer and just like to program and don't like doing the art, um, I would also recommend getting it if you like making assets very quickly because you can make a lot of cool assets really quickly. I've never made a plane before, so I'm kind of lacking here. <laughs> But yeah, this uh, is very cool. Kenny and his team, I don't know if he worked on team or not, but they did an amazing job. Uh, no no one doing yet either, but uh, we'll, they'll fix that, of course. But yeah, this is basically what we do. You drag your stuff in here. You scale it. Do all that stuff. I'm obviously failing at making a plane right now. Uh, let's just make a castle. Screw you, plane. Screw you. Yeah, let's make a castle. Drag some blocks in. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Doo -doo. Drag the corners in. Look at this. You just drag the corners in. Slablam. Rotate. Boom. Look at that. Rotate. <laughs> Rotate. Jeez. So easy. So amazing. So beautiful. Grab a door. Where's a good door? Where's a door? There's a door. We'll put a door so you can get into the place. Do, do, do. Get into the house, you know. And we'll just put a roof on there, you know. Just, just slap a roof on. You just create a fancy house. Look at that. You just create a fancy house in like two minutes. Oh, you want a you want a gate? You said. Oh. You want a gate? Don't worry. There's fences. Look at that. You want some fence posting? Very cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff. Look at this stuff. Like, it's just so easy. You just drag, drop, and place. And I bet if you're more creative than me, you could think of something cool. Because right now, I can't really think of anything. You can even make a custom made blocks. Um, if anybody wants me to maybe go over that in another tutorial, then I will. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep making this house and having fun with it. Just drag, place, boom. Oh no, grabbed the wrong one. But yeah, I can't wait till uh, to see the improvements. Also, you get any new updates with it so like if he decides to add more blocks you'll get those so which is awesome because Kenny's really cool and good at making some good assets yeah sometimes this grid thing will happen but overall it's really cool um, I don't even know if this was like a tutorial or like a Oh, look at this thing. Probably more of a review. Tutorial review? I don't know. Something. Yeah. Why isn't it snapping? Oh, God. But yeah, sometimes you just gotta wiggle it and work with it. Maybe I'm just dragging it in wrong. I don't know. My fence is in my house. My fence is in my house. <laughs> but yeah, let's go to the next thing. Colors. Woo! Alright, so this is pretty cool. This is where stuff gets cool, right? Say I don't like my door being wood colored. I'm like, I want a blue door. Boom! Make it blue. And look how it didn't change like the whole overall color of the model, which is great. It just changed that one part that I clicked. Say so I want this nice blue house here. Well, oh god, that fence is coming back to haunt me. Get out of here, fence! I 
Do do do. I'll make the ground stuff blue too. I'm still new at this too. But it's okay. We're all learning here, right? That's the best thing about tutorials. You learn. And so do I. Uh, you could even add colors here. Say I want a red fence. I like painting my fences red. Uh, let's say maybe I want a textured roof. Yeah, brick roof. A red brick roof. Look at that. They have a bunch of other textures. Let's just make a lot of textures on this roof. Go through them. Bricks, stone, camouflage. You want some camouflage? Some grass? It's pretty cool. Really awesome. Uh, I don't. I haven't used the textures all that much, to be honest. I just have done flat colors. Uh, the only texture that I've used is this one for like sci-fi spaceshipy stuff. Because it looks pretty cool when you do like a grayish, bluish thing. So that is that. That's pretty much everything. Um, you can even put a flag on here if you want. Yeah. <laughs> so then the export options. This is really cool. Um, I think this is one of the coolest things about Asset Forge is you could go to 2D Sprite and you can kind of pick your view that you want it to be and then you can render it out I usually have just done isometric can even do the shadows and contrasts. this scene doesn't really show it that much but ambient occlusion you can bump that up color filter you can he has a lot of those black and white <laughs> got sunny got winter I mean it's really cool uh, maximum height so like takes off some parts which is used for exporting stages so you can kind of make a gif of like the stages in which it was created from the bottom up which is really cool and then you could pick uh, what sprite size you want small medium large huge let's go with huge and then you can even say how many angles you want do you want four directions or eight directions you can do four directions you save it out and gives you a little sprite sheet. It's really cool. Well, not a sprite sheet, but gives you some PNGs of it. And then with the 3D model, you can do export as an OBJ or an FBX. OBJ, you can either merge or not merge. And then you could choose to export textures or not. So yeah, it's really awesome. This program is amazing. Uh, hopefully you guys can do something more with it. Here, I'll open some more of my stuffs let me just delete all this stuff just to see like cuz I'm not doing good right now uh, so yeah you've seen my enemy spaceship model right now Woo! that thing's really cool let's go new open and then let's go to cargo ship got a little cargo ship right there see that texture yeah yeah it's really cool and then let's see what else do I got I got another enemy fighter boom this guy's pretty cool pretty snazzy and sleek and then we got the haunted house I was talking about got some gravestones which is supposed to be fireplaces I think that's just uh, one of the actually that's um that part is this part right here from the aircraft so that's pretty cool. You can even make trees and stuff. I mean, with your good imagination, you can do a lot more than what the um, predefined shapes and blocks are. So just think outside of the box. If you have an idea, try to go for it. Have fun. But yeah, just it's a really awesome program. I enjoy it. I love it. It's great if you don't really have time to create, uh, go into Blender and create, like, do a bunch of arts or if you're not good with blenders or 3d modeling program just jump into here throw some blocks together and you got something really cool and really good see these are separate blocks but yeah it's an amazing program I love it if you guys want more tutorials uh, I'll try to be more organized I kinda just whip this one up 
just on the morning before I had work because I wanted to just show everybody the awesomeness of this program. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas for any other tutorials or don't want me to do any more tutorials, just go to the comments and say, hey, I don't like this. You should stop doing this. You're horrible at it. And I'll stop. But if you like it or have an idea for another one, maybe you want to see the workflow between Unity and Asset Forge or Unreal and Asset Forge or something in Asset Forge, then I'll do it. Um, but yeah, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And post some links to like stuff you've created in Asset Forge. I want to see. I want to see what you guys can do with this program. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Have a great one, and I'll see you next time.